My Architect AI, is it actually better than Nano Banana? I didn't expect to ask that question today, but after testing it, I might have to. You know how every few months new AI pops up promising to be better, faster and more realistic? Most of them disappear as quickly as they appear. But this one, My Architect AI has been quietly recommended to me and I wanted to see why. So today we are putting it to the test with 8 images. Exteriors, elevations and the interiors. And after each one you will see the before and after comparison, so you can judge the difference yourself. So, let's get started. For the first exterior test, I chose a straightforward view. So simple lighting, clean geometry, nothing too dramatic. It's usually a good way to see how naturally the AI is handling the shadows and materials without being distracted by the complicated elements. So when you will get to the My Architect AI website for the first time, you can also see the use cases, features and the resources. So after watching my tutorial, you can also see the tutorials they have and the knowledge base on their website. So now let's log into the website and as you can see, it's really straightforward. But what makes My Architect AI really interesting is that they actually give you three different rendering engines. So one of them is called Render, which is made for the colored cut drawings. The second one is the Style Transfer, which turns sketches and line drawings into polished visuals. And then there is Enhance, which takes an existing render and adds more detail, more clarity and a high resolution. So as usual, I am loading our image, choosing the exterior from the Renderings engine. I'm going with the first one, so that's Render engine. And now in the advanced options, we can put our prompt in. Let's generate and let's see the results. Wow, that's very good. The lighting feels believable, not artificial at all, and I love how clean the shadows look. The material translation here is genuinely solid, you can actually read the surfaces clearly. And there is not a single strange artifact in the background, which is quite rare. The vegetation looks calm and natural, nothing plastic or overgrown. That's amazing. But there is one more thing I would like to fix, and that's the face of the person on that visual that doesn't feel entirely right. So for that one, I'm gonna go to the edit section. And what's good about my Architect AI, it actually includes a great editing toolkit. So it allows you to retexture specific areas, remove objects, or enhance selectively parts of the image. And that's pretty handy when you don't want to remake the entire render just because one material looks off. So I'm gonna go to the edit by prompt and putting there what I would like to be changed and let's see the results. Okay, that's good result, I'm happy with that, and this will be our final image. So now you have the option to download that image, or you can upscale it to the 4K. So while other rendering platforms have that in the different section, so we actually have to go somewhere else to do that, this AI have that under one button. So we'll just generate our 4K image, download it, and we'll start with the second test. Oh, and before that, here is the comparison so you can see the difference. For the second image, I chose different lighting conditions, because that's where you will see whether the rendering platform actually adapts, or if it just simply repeats the same style every time. So this test is all about the reflections, shadows and color accuracy. So I'm uploading our image, and as you can see on that miniature, I've included quite a lot of yellow elements. So that's actually my trap for that AI platform. It's a trap! Because I described in the prompt that I would like all the yellow elements to be swapped to grey. So let's see how well it will do that. Okay, that's impressive. Most of the yellow element has been changed, so I'm happy with that. The reflections on the windows are clean and consistent. The sky feels integrated, not just slapped on top of that image. It strikes a good balance between the realism and reality. So now let's go to the editing section and now I will change the rest of the yellow elements. So when you will go to the Change Texture tab, you can actually select from the library of different materials what you would like to be changed. Or you can upload your own material, or just describe that in the prompt for the AI. So I'm selecting our yellow areas, and I will choose the material I would like to be placed there. Now, let's see the results. Okay, that's good, but there is one more change I would like to do, so for that one I will go to the Edit by Prompt. Because for me, that image lacks a little bit of greenery, so I would like to generate small greenery and some bushes in the foreground. That's great. That image looks really good and I would actually have no problem showing that to the client. And now, here is the before and after view.
For the last exterior, I chose something more complicated. More landscaping, mixed materials and softer lighting. This is usually where AI starts to struggle. I'm uploading our image and with this one I'm actually quite happy with how that 3D model looks like. So instead of render engine, I would choose the style transfer engine. So this is where you can choose between the photorealistic and conceptual. I'm gonna go with photorealistic and you can choose from plenty of reference images. Or you can upload your own reference. I've got the image that I like, I upload our prompt and let's generate. That's incredible. The reflections on the windows are clean and consistent. This render has so much calm and natural mood. And the textures are crisp without being gritty. The vegetation is integrated really well here. And the fact it took just 30 seconds is genuinely impressive. But obviously the elephant in the room, there is no road to the front driveway. So let's change that. I will go to the edit by prompt section. I'm putting our prompt and let's see the results. Okay, that's very good. I'm happy with that. But there is one more change I would like to do. I'm not entirely happy with that middle section between the volumes of the building being in concrete. I would like that to be in dark cladding. So for that one, I'm gonna go to the change texture section and I'm gonna describe what I want. Okay, that's great result. I'm happy with that. But there is one more thing. You can see the weird timber squares on the first floor balconies. So to remove that, I'm gonna go to the remove section, obviously. Duh. I will now select these areas and let's remove them. Now everything is spot on, exactly how I wanted it. I'm just gonna quickly generate the 4K image, download it, and here is the comparison before and after. Before we'll move to another section, if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe, share, and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. Now let's move to the elevations because they are a different kind of challenge. So I wanted to see whether my architect AI can really enhance them without making them look like something entirely different. So I'm uploading our image, I'm choosing the exterior, for rendering engine I'm choosing render, let's upload our prompt and let's see the results. That's great. This is exactly the level of subtle enhancement the elevation needs. I really like the shadows and how the background and greenery works on this one. Although you can argue that it started to look more like the 3D view instead of the elevation, but that was done purely from the elevation. And I'm happy with the final outcome. This would work perfectly for the planning submission. I have absolutely nothing to add or change here, so here is the before and after. Now the second elevation is intentionally simpler. I wanted to see how my architect AI can handle just the wide, simple elevation. As before, I am uploading our image, choosing the exterior, selecting the render engine, putting our prompt, and let's generate. Oh wow, that's something else. That's extremely clean, almost like too perfect. The proportions stay exactly as they should. I really like the shading and the level of realism here. And this would be absolutely fantastic for the concept design presentations. And it doesn't have any unnecessary clutter anywhere. It's good, it's readable and ready to use. I'm fully happy with the outcome here, so here is the comparison. We are moving on to the interiors now. The interiors are the hardest for AI, because the model has to understand the furniture geometry, soft materials, proportions and scale, lighting and reflections. So there is a lot that can go wrong. So as before we are uploading our image, I'm choosing the interior, render engine, I'm putting our prompt and let's see the results. This is genuinely impressive. The textures look amazing. The lighting feels warm and consistent. There is no distortions anywhere, apart from one. I will go to that in a moment. Bro, what are you talking about, man? The composition feels balanced, and this looks like a proper interior render, not like AI. Even the shadows under the furniture feels intentional. It would work perfectly for the client's mood boards, but coming to that one artifact I spotted, this will be the tab for the sink in the island unit. So I'm gonna go to the edit mode and this time we'll use the enhance feature. I'm selecting the area to be improved, I'm describing what I would like to be generated, let's set the creativity to 40% and see the results. Okay, it's not bad, it's just simply the sync tab, so I'm happy with that image, let's generate it in 4K and here is the comparison.
Now the second interior image. This will be the real test for the lighting coming from the window on the left hand side in that office and the reflections on the surfaces. We are uploading our image, I'm choosing the interior, render engine, I'm putting our prompt and let's see the results. That's amazing! The reflections and lighting are spot on. Really, these reflections are surprisingly accurate. The contrast is perfect, nothing is blown out. The overall composition feels controlled, the texture clarity is very high and there is no strange shadows artifacts. This is like presentation ready. I have nothing to add here, nothing to change. So let's see the comparison. For the final interior image, I really pushed it. Mixed materials, soft furnishings, ambient lighting. This is a really hard combination for AI. As before, you know the drill. I'm uploading our image, choosing the interior, selecting the render engine, uploading the prompt, and let's generate. The lighting is incredible on that image. I like how the sofas and the soft furnishing were generated, and the lighting on them behaves really good. The materials are accurate without being overprocessed, and every detail across this scene seems consistent. What's good, the colors didn't shift from the original concept, and the furniture shadows are perfect. This belongs to the final client pack. So here is the before and after. That was our final image. Now, before we talk about the pricing, I wanted to show you something that I really appreciate. My Architect AI has a fully transparent roadmap. You can actually see what they are currently building, what's being tested, and what's coming next. You can also see what the community is asking for. It's updated regularly, so you can actually track the process instead of guessing when a feature may arrive. If the rendering tool is about to release new feature, this is something you want to know about in advance. They also have a feedback space, where you can submit your ideas, vote on them, and comment on suggestions from others. It feels like the platform is still growing, but growing in the right direction. And they are actually listening to what professionals need, instead of just adding flashy features for marketing purposes. And on top of that, they take security quite seriously, so they don't use your design to train their models. As architects, that's something we want written in big bold letters. So, let's talk pricing. You can actually test my Architect AI for free. Oh my god! Wow! And this is really helpful, because you got a feel for how it works before you commit to anything. And if you do decide to use it properly, the paid plan is pretty straightforward. It's $29 a month, or you can choose a discounted yearly option, if you want to pay once and forget it for a long time. So nothing complicated, no confusing tiers. And you don't have to take anyone's word for it. Just upload your designs there and see the results yourself. So you can try it out first without paying a penny. And if you decide to give the platform a try, I do have an affiliate link in the description down below. Also, you can get 20% off with my code 8820. Just make your account on the website using my affiliate link and enter my promotion code 8820 at the checkout to get my 20% discount. So that was my honest take on my Architect AI. I hope it helped you get a clearer idea what it can do and whether it will be beneficial for your own projects. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want me to compare my Architect AI with Nano Banana or Render AI in the head-to-head -head test, let me know in the comments. And if you are curious how that compares to other tools, I've also tested Nano Banana with Render AI. You can watch it here next. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.